All right, welcome back. Let's go back to the White House now, where questions are being asked about the president's German shepherd. Have you heard about this? Commander has bitten at least seven Secret Service agents over the last four months. Yes, sent one of them to the hospital. For more on this, let's welcome in the founder and CEO of Project K-9 Hero, Jason Johnson. Jason, thanks for joining us. So the White House, they're saying that the first dog's bite spree is basically because it's a stressful environment, saying the White House complex is a unique and often stressful environment for family pets. Uh, what do you make of this? Well, I think anytime you look at uh, taking in a dog to an environment like that, you really need to understand its history and what triggers may cause it to react. And it needs a lot of continuity in its life, and it needs a lot of uh, uh, exercise and uh, discipline and things to make sure that, uh, you know, it's not reacting behaviorally in this manner. So I would say yes to everything you just said. However, this just happened a couple years ago. Major was the other first dog, German Shepherd, and they had to give that dog away to family friends because apparently that dog, totally different dog, by the way, was also biting people. Um, so at what point do you say maybe it's the people that are supposed to be in charge of this dog, like Joe and Jill, who aren't uh, great dog parents? Well, yeah, let's be honest. Being the president and the first lady is a very high activity, responsible job where you have a lot of things to go out and do every day. And maybe taking care of your pet probably isn't one of them. So, you know, like here at our facility, we, we take in German Shepherds at Project Canine Hero from the United States military and law enforcement. Uh, you know, these dogs have a history of uh, biting and we help save their lives. And what we want to do is learn their triggers learn what makes them react, and remove those triggers from their life. So without people understanding the history of the dog, without making sure the dog has that, that everyday person that it can bond with, um, you know, I'm, I can imagine that many multiple people handle that dog on a daily basis. Yeah. And if you're not the one person that it's able to control it, then you can really run into problems like this. It's very common. It, the weird thing is this is not a trend at the White House. You know, it's not like... I was trying to see if there were other first family pets who, who had biting incidents I, during the break. I couldn't find anything, but I, I just started researching. I, right. I, so the dog uh, has been there for a while, and I understand sometimes if it's a new dog and they're trying to get used to the environment, but um, he has been there f for a while. Here's what uh, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre had to say about this. I know you referred us to the Secret Service for other incidents regarding uh, oh, good manner, manner in the doghouse with, with the Secret the Service house. itself. But um, I'm curious, have any resident staff or other White House staff been bitten? Or I would have to refer to Secret Service. They would have that information. Yeah. Is there a difference between these incidents and those with Major who also had to retreat I, I, from the White no, House? I totally understand the question. This is something that Secret Service can answer. All right, so she's she's not answering the question there for Ooh, the press. <laughs> deflecting I, that But question. I guess but my, my question is, is the dog's been there for a while, so what kind of stress would this dog be under, especially if they're used to their surroundings? Well, uh, people it doesn't under, you know, people doesn't know, people it's not used to. Um, I think, um, you know, as a former government employee, it's important uh, to have the safety of the staff in and around the White House on a daily basis. And I would say that, you know, they're mandated to report these incidences. So yeah. in no way do I blame them at all. It's really not the dog's fault. Um, you know, this dog's not living the normal life of uh, what some of our pets would live in our home. So Yeah, and I feel I bad for the dog. I do, too. Um, I, I really, really do, Something's too. causing him to, no, to bite. No, I, I wouldn't want to be Joe Biden's dog, either. But one of There's the Secret Service agents, poor guy, went to the hospital. You know, so it's not like a little nip here. And German Shepherds, my sister had a German Shepherd. Uh, thing was wonderful. Never, never bit. I grew up with dogs. None of these dogs bit. Like, it's just, it's so bizarre. This is back-to-back -back dogs. And it's not like this has happened with other presidents. Uh, Biden had that big furry thing. I can't remember the name of it. Well, you mean Obama? Yeah. Um, uh, no, no, Obama. Ob yeah, yeah, Labradoodle big, uh, or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Big furry friendly okay. thing. Water or something or other. What was a it? A water Portuguese, Portuguese water, water dog. dog. My producer there just said yes, water in my ear three times. <laughs> yep. I don't think it was. It was a water. You know, the water species. Um, all right. Appreciate you being with us, uh, Jason, and breaking that down. We'll thank keep you. an eye on it. Um, thank you, Jason Johnson there. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Uh,